Alpha males are seen as the most popular kind of men by everyone. Their enjoyment of getting support from others is the main fact or reason in their success. The alpha man loves being in charge and exerting control. But what happens when he meets someone who is the exact opposite of him? Someone he knows he can't control, who is as smart or smarter than him, but doesn't want to show it in real life. The lone wolf is like the alpha wolf in a pack of wolves who is out of control. Sigma males can't be taken care of by alpha males. Sigma men are great because they have traits that help them do things that alpha males can't do. If you want to learn why these two dog types don't get along, stick around until the end. We'll talk about why alpha males can't handle sigma males in today's video. The first thing is that alpha males feel endangered by how confident they are. People know that the sigma males are a threat to the alpha males because they are too sure of their own strength and skills. Although the alpha male is a very arrogant person, he is in no way similar to a sigma. As we all stand, a sigma can show off his skills on his own, unlike an alpha who needs help from his friends to do so. This makes the alpha man think that a sigma gets everything for free and doesn't have to work for it. But that's not true because Sigma men put in just as much effort as Alpha men, but they don't brag about how hard it is like Alpha men do. Giving the idea that they have an easy time with it, they only show the result. Number two, they have the option to be Alpha if they so choose. The most dangerous thing for a strong man is to know that someone else can take his place quickly. The male members of Sigma have everything they need to become Alphas, but they lack the desire to do so. Since they are skilled and self-assured, they can take over and lead without any issues. The strong male doesn't like this because he wants everyone to be less smart and attractive than he is. Their pride is hurt by the fact that a Sigma man can live without them. For this reason, the Alpha male cannot control or force the Sigma to rely on him because the Sigma is aware that he is just as well equipped as he is. Also, the Alpha male doesn't want to hang out with the Sigma male because he's afraid that if people find out how great the Sigma male is, they'll stop liking him. Third, ladies are more interested in male Sigmas. Women don't find strong men as beautiful as they think they do because they are real men, which goes against what most people think. Women are more interested in Sigma males. Despite the fact that it might seem like the alpha male in the middle of the room is the center of attention, the ladies will soon notice the man who is enjoying his solitude in the corner. The strong male hates it when women like someone else more than him because he wants all the women for himself. Even though he doesn't understand why women like dull Sigma men, he doesn't like it when a dull Sigma man is around. 4. They don't listen to directions. Sigma males don't like to take directions. Sigma males don't like rules, and they don't like being told what to do especially by an alpha male. They are individuals who prefer to do what makes them happy, as opposed to beta males who require such direction. And this is something a strong man can't stand. Alpha males are scary and enjoy giving orders. They expect everyone to do what they say without questioning their authority. Alphas are experts at getting what they want, to identify a person's weakness so they can use it to their own advantage. They will go to any lengths, all. When they meet a Sigma male, though, none of their tricks work because he is a master in his own right. Sigma men are aware of the scheme, but they don't like it. They are aware that they are just as capable as the person giving them orders, so they don't want to do what they are told. This is just one more fact that makes it challenging for them both to work together. 5. They like to work on their own. The reason why Sigma males are called lone wolves is because they value silence more than anything else. They prefer working alone rather than in a group because they don't want anyone to throw off their mental balance and would rather put in the effort on their own until they succeed. On the other hand, the strong man is nothing like this. He likes to work with other people. In the end, they want to take all the credit for their cooperative efforts. Because Sigma males prefer to work freely rather than collaboratively, Alpha males find it challenging to function when paired with Sigma males. Since the Alpha male wants to be the most important member of the team, even if he isn't doing the most important job, 
he can make the other members angry and upset. Sigma males, on the other hand, don't care about things like that. Instead, a Sigma will work alone to enjoy the beauty of what he has made, which can sometimes make the other team members feel useless, which an alpha male can't stand. This doesn't mean that men in the Sigma fraternity can't work in groups, but they prefer to be in places where their thoughts and views are valued without bias. Alpha men find it challenging to handle Sigma men because they do not like to be ignored or dominated by anyone. Only if the Alpha listens to him and respects his thoughts and views can he control the Sigma. If the Alpha is ready to do this, he will find out that a Sigma male can be a great help and friend. Six they don't say much. The alpha male is afraid of being replaced, and he hates it when he has to give control to someone else. Sigma males can be helpful and trustworthy. In this case, it won't be hard to pass the alpha man in the room. The alpha male hates being in the background and is always trying to be the center of attention, but he can't take care of everything on his own. Only the sigma guy is easy to switch out when they don't do well. Sigmas are even more likely than Alphas to be able to take charge and lead the group. Despite the fact that the Sigma will never try to take the Alpha's place as boss, the Alpha is always afraid of him. Because he holds no real position in the social order, the Alpha male does not want the Sigma male to upset the balance in the group. 7. They do well even when they don't have any competitors. For a strong man, competition is everything. In fact, he needs it to achieve because it pushes him to do well. The alpha male can use all of his strength to get rid of his competitors, but what happens when he meets a man who doesn't need competition to be successful? Sigma men, on the other hand, are very successful even when they have no one else to compare themselves to. So that makes things hard for strong men. Even if it brings them into battle, Sigma males will choose to let things go instead of falling for the trap. Because of this, an Alpha will look down on a Sigma. When he sees that he can't force the Sigma into a race because it would make his success pointless, the Sigma finds meaning in everything he does and doesn't need anyone to tell him how great he is. So he will keep doing the things he loves as well as he can. The Alpha male doesn't understand why he would prefer to spend his time and energy doing what he is already doing instead of looking for people to mate with, fight against, so he will stay away from the Sigma guy in every way. Because of these differences, the men in the Alpha group don't let the men in the Sigma group work together or talk to each other. People think that Sigma men are better than other types of men. Sigma stands out from the rest of the world because of their charm and strong drive. It can be challenging for the Alphas to handle the Sigma men because they have different personalities. Do any of these points make sense to you? Please tell us in the comment area. Until then, have a good one.